Hey everybody, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More, and today I want to flash back to 1980 with you guys, an experience Friday the 13th for the first time in the theater for me, which was awesome. Um, yeah, they were doing one of those flashback cinema events, and my mom and I decided to go catch it for Friday the 13th last night, and it was the last one that they were showing and I gotta say, it was an amazing experience. Uh, we both absolutely loved it. The sound was excellent. I mean, the sound design in the theater was so good. You could really hear the k -k 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 -ma 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 -ma. like when that was kicking in, and you know, the third act when it's raining and everything, and when you know people are screaming. It just looks so great too. Um, you know, to see all the kills up there on the big screen for the first time and. It was, a, it was great. I, I haven't done any of these flashback events. You know, I miss Jaws. I miss Scream. You know, they did flashback events for those. They've done them for a lot of movies. And I really was like, you know what? I'm going to catch Friday the 13th. And it was fun. And my mom likes slasher movies, but this legitimately was scaring the shit out of her. Which is funny because to me, it's not scary at all anymore. When I was a kid... The scene, spoiler alerts, but the scene at the end where Jason comes out of the water and grabs her, you know, um, that scared, you know, the shit out of me when I was a kid. But, you know, now I've seen the movie so many times that it doesn't really have an effect on me like that. I still enjoy watching it, but it doesn't scare me. But it was scaring her. There were like multiple scenes because, the, like I said, the sound design in the theater, it just felt like they were like right there with you, like the screams and the the music when it amplifies, it was great, um, but yeah, it was just so cool, uh, just because it's such a, it's a beautifully shot film, um, it really is, you know, Sean Cunningham did a great job with, you know, zero budget, basically, and, it's funny, because the film really, it kind of reminds me, in a way of, like, the way it's shot and everything, it kind of reminds me of TCM, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one, where it kind of almost feels like, like a documentary style film. Like they're just like, you're just following these camp counselors as they're setting up the camp and they're getting things ready. And you have all these like majestic shots of the lake and the trees and the reflections in the water and all that kind of stuff. It's very well done. It's very well directed. Um, and there's just a, so much atmosphere in this movie. Really, the atmosphere is the main reason to watch the original Friday the 13th because the characters, much like in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you're just kind of there to take the ride with them. You're just watching them just do basic things around the campsite. There's not much to any of their characters. You get little sprinkles of things here and there, like he's the funny guy. Oh, they used to be in like a little relationship or these two you know, or, you know, are in a relationship, you know, like, you know, Kevin Bacon stuff, and, um, and, um, Jeanne Taylor as Marcy, you know, their, you know, their relationship together, you're like, oh, okay, so they're, like, the couple, and, um, but there's, there's not much to any of them, um, you know, so it's really just, being immersed into the film it's really just experiencing it and um like I said it just it feels like you're out in the woods with them like you're on the campsite you know you're preparing everything you know you're you're going into the water you know they're they're like playing out in the water they're swimming they're doing all this stuff they're chopping wood I mean it's just it really does feel like you're you know they're with them and I think that's important because then when they all start getting picked off you're like oh my god you know you're <laughs> you know you're like oh shit you know who's next am I next <laughs> you know like it's just so much fun uh the kills are great because obviously you know Tom Savini did the uh you know the practical effects and all that stuff for the film so they look excellent um very realistic and you have so many iconic kills in this, you know, spoilers if you haven't seen the original Friday the 13th. But, you know, you know, you got Kevin Bacon getting killed with the arrowhead through the neck. Um, 
uh, you have uh, Jan, Janine Taylor, um, you know, who, you know, plays Marcy. She gets the axe to the head. Um, there's so many. Um, yeah, Kevin Bacon plays Jack. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that arrowhead through the neck kill is so good. That was another scene. <clears throat> that scared the shit out of my mom was when the hand comes over and grabs him and holds him and then you just see the arrow tip go through his neck that was another scene that got her um yeah there were just so many good moments there's so many like iconic you know scenes uh even the first you know the the lady that's just hitchhiking her way to the campsite and um you know, she ends up getting her throat slashed. Like, that looks very realistic, just watching the blood come down and everything. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it really... Uh, my favorite... I think my favorite kill, though, is the, it's one that's off-screen. And that's... Um, what's that guy's name? Bill. Yeah, when Bill gets killed and he's just hanging on the door and there's all those arrows through him and his throat slit and he's just his whole face is bloodied up that actually i think is the coolest looking kill in the entire movie um but they're they're all they're all solid and um yeah you know i think adrian king does a really good job uh you know as alice in the film uh you know she's uh she's she you know she's very good at like what they said there was a it was funny there's a guy that before the movie played you know he was going over uh he was giving like a quick background on friday the 13th and how it was made on you know shoestring budget and it was you know um took a lot of inspiration from halloween obviously and um adrian king who plays alice you know our final girl she was cast because she did a little bit of you know tv she was a tv actress and stuff but she was cast because her ability to scream loud you know and stuff and she does have a great scream and she's a you know um you know a fairly like expressive face too you know when she's terrified or, or or concerned or something so it worked out well like i said none of these characters are like great in terms of being like built up or having a lot of background or anything but they don't really need to be um like I said, it's more of the film Friday the 13th, which a lot of people, you know, say is like in the middle for their Friday the 13th movies. Like it's not even at the top. A lot of people would put four or six or two at the very top. But I think people forget just how good Friday the 13th really is and how effective it is. It's just different, you know, but that's what I love about the franchise is like each Friday film kind of brings you something different. But, um... But yeah, I think Alice is, uh, you know, she, the, the, to me, the, the worst part about the movie is probably the amount of times that, uh, you know, and spoilers for the third act of Friday the 13th, if you haven't seen it, but, you know, the amount of times that Alice has to kill Mrs. Voorhees throughout this film is just ridiculous. There's like three times where she could have just killed her and be done. And it's like, look, I get it. You know, you know, she's just a kid. She's just a camp counselor, but it's like, you're being attacked. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and she keeps like knocking her down. She keeps not, you know, Alice keeps knocking Mrs. Voorhees down, but then it's like, just finish her and she doesn't ever finish her, you know? So th that, that is probably like the worst part of the film because it's just like, okay, by the third time when you ever knock down on the ground and she's tried to kill you so many times now, it's like, and she killed all of your friends and everybody. It's like, just finish her off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's clearly self-defense at this point, you know? But, um, but we, she finally does during the fourth attack, <laughs> she finally decides to, you know, fucking cut her head off with a machete, which is a great looking practical effect. And by the way, those are, you know, when the head gets decapitated and goes flying off and you see the hands come up like that, those are actually Tom Savini's hands <laughs> doing that motion. And if you pause it just right, or if you even just look at them, you can tell there's like some hair there and stuff. Cause they're, you know, guys hands, not women's. So but, um, yeah, still a great looking effect though. It's awesome. Um, 
but yeah, that'd probably be the worst part. But obviously the third act is also the best part because Betsy Palmer's, you know, acting and everything during that third act is incredible, you know. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Don't let her get away. You know, and all that shit. Like, that's so creepy. Even when she's just doing his voice out there, you know, um, when you know, when that, when the, the one girl comes out, cause she hears like a kid, you know, yelling for help, you know, like, help, please help, mommy, help me, da, da, da. you know, she hears like a kid's voice, you know, and, you know, so she goes out there to check or whatever. And then obviously the floodlights all come on and then you just hear her screaming from like a distance, you know, but it's like over the rain is kind of drowning it out and everything like that's so well shot too. Like, that's what I mean. There's, there's so much good directing in the film. Um, so yeah, I think that's why it stands the test of time, even though I think some people consider it to be a boring film. I really like it. And I, I think I appreciate Friday the 13th a little bit more every time I watch it. I really do. I think I appreciate it just a little bit more every time. Not that I've always really enjoyed it, but yeah, I just, I think the directing style and stuff like that, when you get older and you've watched like a million horror movies, just a million movies in general, you start to appreciate things like that more. Just, you know, the fact that it's actually shot on a lake you know, with real water and not CGI water, you know, or whatever, you know what I mean? Or like a, you know, like a blue screen, a green screen, and all this crazy shit going on. Like it's, it's, it's real. Um, so yeah, I just, I think that's awesome. But yeah, guys, that's really all I wanted to come on here and talk about was Friday the 13th and getting to check it out in the theater and my experience, my mom's experience, you know, she was, you know, like watching the movie like this scared out of her mind and stuff. Um, I thought it was, uh, it was great. And if you get a chance to go catch Friday the 13th in the theater, you should. Um, it's definitely well worth the money and uh, I look forward to seeing hopefully many more horror movies and or just classic, you know, action films. I'd love to go see like Cliffhanger in the theaters, Die Hard in the theaters, Lethal Weapon, Lethal Weapon 2. I'd love to go see any of those movies in the theater uh, for the first time. It'd be a badass experience just like this was. So, and I hope that I get to catch, now that I've seen, they've done, you know, the flashback cinema for the first Friday the 13th, I'm hoping that they do it for the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, uh, and I hope they just keep going. Um, I did see Jason X in theaters, and I did see Freddy versus Jason in theaters. Um, and I can't remember if I saw the remake in theaters or not. I think I did, I think so. But, yeah, I love catching, you know, the original Paramount 8 in theaters. I think I think that would be cool if they do that, like I said, like every year, you know, however often they do it. Um, that would be awesome. And Jason Goes to Hell, because I like Jason Goes to Hell, so I'd like to see that one too. <laughs> I'd like to see that one in the theater as well. But um, if they just end up doing just the Paramount 8, man, uh, that would be amazing. So, yeah, definitely highly recommend it. Um, down in the comments, let me know, you know, how many of these flashback cinema events have you caught, you know, and um, let me know which movies you've you've seen, you know, which older movies you got to go back and watch for the first time because they did one of those flashback events. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of Friday the 13th. I'd be very curious. Like, do you think it's just an average film? Do you think it's the best? Do you think it's the worst? Let me know. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.